Hey guys, welcome to 334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I'm out here to make a video on how I built and designed my horizontal three rod rod holder to go on the side of your kayak. Now there's plenty of rod holders out on the market uh, that holds multiple rods and a horizontal to go on the side of your kayak. I just didn't see one that fit my needs, uh, so I built and designed my own. Uh, now I'm gonna go over everything I did uh, to, to build mine and design it. Uh, you can take some of my ideas and use your own ideas and build your own. Uh, I'll show you a couple of mountain options that I found that work best for me. Uh, like I said, you can make it however you want uh, to fit your needs. Uh, so if you find this video helpful, guys, leave me a like. If you have any questions about it, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. All right, guys, here's a few things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some cardboard. Uh, this way here, you can make your design. Uh, I'll show you how to lay it all out and why I use cardboard to start. Second thing, you're gonna need a piece of half inch HDP. Uh, I use black, you can use white, uh, whatever you want, but I use black. Uh, half inch HDP works best because when you're choosing your mountain options, as you can see, half inch just fits in there the best. Uh, three quarters getting a little bit too thick and quarter inch is way too thin. Thing is finding what mountain option you want them to do. Uh, this is a Selec Designs. Uh, this is the rod base uh, on one of their rod holders. Uh, it works really good. It's nice and tall. So if you're wanting to get up off your rail, you know, a good six inches, this is perfect. The Yak Attack Lock and Loads uh, Mountain Base, it works really, really well. It's a little bit lower on your rail. As you can see, the two side by side, you get about two more inches of height on the Select Designs. Uh, the Lock and Loads you can buy. There are, I think the lock and loads right now are like $19.99. So whatever you're trying to do, you either need to buy two of the mounts or you can build this where you don't need the mount. The way you do it without needing a mount uh, is these uh, Starport, the track mount kits. They come with, they come with the uh, nut and the, uh, and the little track. It goes this just slides into your track and then you can take the the nut and the way you do that let me bring up a design that I built uh, showing you how I did that and as you can see the only thing I did is right here I just wallet out a big enough teardrop style hole to get this in that way, whenever I screw it down to the rail, that's how it mounted down. That's a couple of different ways of being able to mount it down. Now, now let me show you how I made my design. Just take three rods, get three rods up here and get them as tight together as you can get them. Uh, they don't have to be super, super close, but you want your rods to be you know, fairly tight group together uh, to keep it tucked into your rail the best. Together like this and just go ahead and where you want your rods are, you can go ahead and circle all the way around them. Alrighty. And once you get all three rods marked, finish that circle there. Let's go back up here to the back of the kayak with it. All right, uh, once you get your uh, your three rods marked, now just comes to what you want your design to be. Uh, the way I do my round design, I have a five inch hole saw. And what I do is lay that down. I get it lined up right in the middle of them rods. Now I can take and just draw mark, guys. Close enough. 
Now I have a hole. That is a five inch. And that's exactly what mine is. And I did the round design. Now you don't have to do the round design. If you want to take this, uh, if you're better at cutting, uh, cutting uh, with squares, you could take and make this a uh, square design. I'm going to just draw it straight crossed here and straight down. You can make it a square design, uh, whichever way you feel best of, of cutting. Like I said, if you want to use a five inch hole saw, you can take a five inch hole saw and just cut it out with a five inch hole saw. Uh, now right here is where I would make a hole right in here to uh, to get my mount through. So let me cut this out real quick. Like I'm just gonna, I'll cut it out in a square and just go ahead and put the hole through it and show you what it would look like as having a square. Uh, you can imagine what it would be with having a circle there, but I'm gonna make it a square for you. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and get this cut out real quick. All right, guys, I've got three rods through the cardboard here and I have the cardboard mounted exactly how it would go on the, uh, on the lock and load. I've got them butted through. There's all three rods. Like I said, they're, they're straight through the cardboard coming up the rail because we have the back design for the rods to go through on the cardboard. So let's get the cardboard cut out for this. Now I'll show you how to do that. All righty. Get everything lined up in the same height and just right in the center of your holes Just put a mark right in the center. That's going to be your three. That's going to be your three holes that you have. Now, the only thing you have to do off this is draw what design you like. Uh, I went with the kind of looks like the top of a house. Uh, it was just a, a simple, easy design. So uh, basically uh, just draw a house start down here drawing just a house shape there where your three holes will be now for my rod tips i used a 11 16 cent spade bit uh, that's the hole size that i drilled out for the rods the reason you want to use 11 16 is up here just like on mine you want the hole to be deep enough that way when your rods are laying in it, they don't just slide out. As you can see, the rod will stay inside of them. They stay nice and in the grooves. That's why the, the hole I drilled was 11 16 You don't want to do it too small because when you make your cuts, the rods would just fall out of it. Uh, 11 16 is big enough that it, it makes a cup for each one of them and it holds it nice. So let me... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the holes cut out real quick like and a hole right dead in the center for me to mount it. And we'll take it up there and put it on the rail and see if it looks good. So let me get these holes knocked out real quick. All right, guys. When you get your little house design cut out here, uh, now the only thing you've got to do is you've got to go center to center. The reason you want to go from center to center is it gives you a, it gives you the little indention on each one of your holes for the rods to go in. So uh, let me get this drawed real quick to center of your hole. And then from dead center here out and from dead center here out now as you can see when i cut that i'll still have indentions exactly enough to hold my rod tips on and i've got enough room on this side to make me a flat design here where 
that flat design to make it where I can put me a, a bolt through here to lock it down. That way I can open up to swing my rods out and I can also close it to, uh, to hold the rods completely down. So, uh, and get these lines cut out. So hold on just a second. All right, guys, let's get these cut out real quick. Just gonna cut it from here, straight out. From here, straight out. And we'll cut down, half of that one down, and half of this one down. All right, and that separates my house. And as you can see here, it gives me the indentions to hold rod tips and this can still connect back to it up here i've got the the rods are through the cardboard that i just cut out in the tree to hold them in the front and i've still got The top of the tree that I got to cut out, which would hold the rods down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, this top out of it here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, but that'll be the top to go back on. The top side of the tree here, it would just go right back on. I've got a flat side in it here where you could uh, mount it down where this would still swing out exactly like mine is. But the cardboard is your main thing. Get the cardboard exactly like you want it, no matter if you have to redo it 10 or 12 or 20 times. But once you get everything lined up on the side of your kayak with the cardboard and it's cut and you like the way it looks, uh, you know, when that is, is what you're looking for, uh, the next thing you can do is transfer everything you've cut to the HDPE and cut it out. Uh, I use a, a jigsaw, a Dremel tool, a sander uh, to sand it all down and make it nice and smooth. But that's the, the best way that I found to do it. Like I said, you can take this and make it your own and all, but uh, it works really good. Let me, uh, I'm gonna take it out here, put it in the water or put my kayak in the water. I'll show you how easy it is to paddle around this, uh, you know, cause it doesn't get in your way. Uh, I paddle my kayak very easy. So let me go drop it off in the water guys. Uh, and we'll finish this video up. All right guys, I'm out here on the water. There's my three rod horizontal holder. And as you see, if I start paddling, I've got plenty of room over my edge because my, you can see where my arm is and where the rod holder is because it's basically tucked inside the rail. I'm up high enough here that it's, it's not even up to the bottom of my seat. So if I'm paddling, I can paddle fine out here on the water. Um, now when it comes to getting the rods out, out here on the water, uh, depending on what rod I want to grab, uh, I can grab this this top rod here and just slide it straight out. If I want to put it back, if I want to grab my outside rod, I can grab my outside rod, get it out with no issues. I can slide it back in. Bottom rod down there, you just you have to maneuver it out because the top one is on top of it but it does come right out of there. So I can get my bottom rod out also. Slide it right back in. My rod tips just lay in. This is just twisted to the side. Let me lock it down some more. But that's it guys. Uh, it's super easy to build. It's super nice to have on here. Like I said, it does give me three rods and uh, I tried to stay, you know, completely inside my rail, uh, making things nice and smooth down through here. Uh, Cause like I said, I do fish on a creek. There's a lot of low lying limbs that's around here. 
uh, I get up real close around trees and brushes and you can see this tree down here. And when you have vertical rods, it's just, they get in the way. I mean, trying to go up underneath that tree up there, it would snag, either break them, snatch them out. Uh, that's why I like them being nice and tucked in. So uh, like I said, guys, I hope you take this and make it your own. If you have any questions about it, just leave me a comment. Uh, I'll help you in any way I can. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching to the end. Thanks.